Mexico will be playing Ghana and Germany in the October window, and I gotta be honest, guys, I think this is gonna be a really tough couple of fixtures here. Thank God neither of these teams are at the peak of their powers, and both are struggling with their own problems, or I think Mexico could be in some deep trouble. Honestly, I still think we're in trouble. Now, regardless of what the results end up being, both of these games are actually a really good opportunity to see what this Mexican side is made of, and I'm about to preview both of these matches here in a second, but before I do, if you like videos about the Mexican national team in English, make sure you hit subscribe. We will be doing at least one live stream for these games here on Deadball TV, and I would absolutely hate for you to miss out on that. First match we got is against the Ghanaians, and a little background of this fixture, Mexico have played Ghana three times in our history, and won all three times. So basically what I'm saying is this is a guaranteed automatic dub, baby. Nah, but for real, a win would be big for Mexico in this game. The last time that Mexico played Ghana was in 2017, and we won that fixture, won nothing, in a friendly, in which Elias Hernandez scored the goal. I really didn't think I was name dropping that guy today. Now buckle up, because I'm about to hit you guys with a fun fact that's kind of crazy. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure throughout Mexico's entire history, we have never lost a game to a West African opponent. I'm talking Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, Mali, very, very good national teams. Now, we haven't played these teams very many times. I'd be shocked if it's more than like 15 games total throughout history. But I think it's kind of crazy that all those teams who have all been very good, all of them have won AFCONs or gotten deep into AFCON, and Mexico's never lost. Now, there are some draws in there for sure, but zero losses. I thought that was pretty crazy. Now, a little bit of info on Ghana. They are currently FIFA ranked 60th, which I'm going to be real. That's a little disrespectful. I feel like the Ghanaians are really anywhere around 40. I think that's a bit more realistic. They're coming into this fixture with Mexico in some okay form. They got five wins, two draws, and three losses from their last 10 matches. And they just concluded a somewhat successful African Cup of Nations qualifying campaign. And I say somewhat successful because they qualified for the tournament, but Ghana never really looked that exceptional during the entire time. I'm just going to read off some quick stats here. They were 20th of 46th African countries in goals per game, tied with Mozambique, Togo, and Cape Verde. Teams that I hate to say would probably give Mexico a good game right now. They were 19th in shots, 20th in chances created, recently held to a nil-nil draw against Madagascar, who have a FIFA ranking of 108. The only thing I know about Madagascar is they got Fusa and Lemurs, and apparently that was enough to hold Ghana to a draw. This is what I mean when I say that Ghana are far off from the peak of their powers right now. Ghana are so ridiculously reliant on Mohamed Kudus for any offensive output that if Mexico can shut him down, I'm not gonna say we're gonna win, but we won't lose. He's got four goals in his last eight games for Ghana and is really the only Ghanaian offensive player, at least, who's gonna be coming into this game with some good form with the national team. Mexico will have the opportunity to play against a team that at least on paper is very good. But a lot of the players that declared for Ghana, the ones who had dual citizenship with either Spain, England, or somewhere else, most of them haven't really come good for Ghana yet. I mean, I thought this was crazy that Inyaki Williams has played nine games for Ghana and he does not have a single goal or assist yet. Those are Funes Mori numbers from a guy who is consistently a top scorer in La Liga. So I don't really see Mexico conceding more than one goal in this game, worst case. I think two goals conceded to Ghana would be... A disaster, quite frankly. Especially if Mexico's gonna have a back four of Arteaga, Montes, Vasquez, and Kevin Alvarez. And I say Kevin Alvarez because literally 10 minutes ago, Julian Araujo got injured uh, for Las Palmas. So we don't know what's gonna happen there. Hopefully he's available uh, for the October window. But if not, I would like to see Kevin Alvarez get the start in this game. You guys know I'm a Kevin Alvarez fan, though. You let me know in the comments if you think I'm tripping. So that's kind of what Ghana looked like coming into this fixture. They're not really clicking offensively. Now, defensively, they are a pretty solid team, which should terrify everybody watching this video because we know that Mexico are not very good yet or possibly ever at scoring a lot of goals. I told you guys that Ghana were 20th out of 46 eligible teams during African qualifying for goals scored per game, but for goals conceded per game, they were fourth, allowing just 0.5 goals per match. So we're going to have to really work to score in this fixture. This is not going to be an easy game. Now, Mexico haven't lost in five games, and we still are coming off the recent 2023 Gold Cup victory, but nobody really cared about that for more than like 12 hours. And in the last window, despite not losing, we did see back-to-back -back draws against Asian competition and not even the Japan and the Koreas of the world 
Australia and Uzbekistan. Neither of those teams are bad by any means, but for Mexico to not get a victory from either one is obviously very concerning. And of the two games, Ghana or Germany, Ghana is going to be the one that Mexico has a better chance of winning in. That being said, guys, I hate to say it, but I think we're going to see a 1-1 draw in this game. I need to see something from Lozano that proves that he can put together a competent, inform 11 on the field at the same time. I want the front three for this game to be Chino, Santi, and Chucky Lozano. I want the midfield to be Chavez, Edson, Cortizo, and I already said what I want the back line to be, and of course, Memo Ochoa in goal. That's the lineup that Mexico should use, I just don't know if we will. I have a feeling that Lozano's gonna have at least two howlers in the 11, and quite frankly, guys, we don't have the depth to put scrubs in the starting 11 and beat a team like Ghana. We are one Charlie Rodriguez in the starting 11 away from losing this game, potentially. So I'll put a little asterisk next to my prediction. If Mexico actually puts out a really, really strong 11, then maybe I'll see a Mexico winning 2-1. But I just don't think Lozano has demonstrated thus far that he's capable of making those tough or somewhat kind of obvious decisions with the starting 11. You guys let me know your predictions for this game down in the comments. Now moving on to Germany. The Germans have a current FIFA ranking of 15th, which I feel like realistically, apart from the absolute chaos that's been going on to the German FA and within the locker room, I mean, they're really like a top 10 side. And I have to say, you guys let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, but I think this is the worst possible time that we could be playing Germany. The Germans are fresh off sacking Hansi Flick, who nobody in the locker room really cared for that much. And now they're bringing in Nagelsmann, who has his own man management problems. I will acknowledge that. But I think everybody in the team, everybody in the federation is just ready for a clean slate. It was a disaster since Hansi Flick was appointed. And I think the Germans have a point to prove against the Americans and the Mexicans in this window to say, hey, all of that stuff forget about it. That wasn't the real Germany. Now, I guess Germany could come out and lose both of these games against CONCACAF competition, which would be insane, but I really don't see that happening, especially not against Mexico. I think the best possible case for Mexico in this fixture would literally be a redo of our 2018 victory over Germany in the group stage. I'm talking quick counterattack, score a goal, one nothing, park the bus, and survive. I can't really see Mexico rolling with Germany any other way. I'm very curious to see what Nagelsmann does with the left back position because if he continues to play Schlotterbeck as the left back, then I need Chucky Lozano to expose this man. I need Chucky to dribble at Schlotterbeck over and over and over again and exploit him because the man is simply not a good fullback and other national teams have been able to take advantage of him and if Mexico can't do that then again I think we're in trouble set pieces are obviously going to be a problem for Mexico in this game I mean I don't know who's marking Rudiger and Sule but woof, I mean good luck and I think technically of course this is going to be an extreme test for the Mexican midfield now typically Mexico play up to the competition that they're facing and you know even play down whenever they're playing El Salvador but given the strength of the German 11 that's going to be coming over here, given the tactical brilliance of Nagelsmann, given the fact that Lozano, like I said, he just has too many question marks, I cannot predict anything less than a German victory in this game. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think Germany win this game by two goals, actually. I think it's going to be a real struggle fest for Mexico. I'm just going to go ahead and say 2 nothing, but it could be something like 3-1 at the end of the day. I really don't like being negative, but I don't think that Mexico is ready for this caliber of opponent. I mean, if y'all were concerned watching Uzbekistan counterattack us to perfection, what do you think the German counterattack is gonna look like with Musiala and Leroy Sané? I mean, we're gonna get absolutely shredded. And can you imagine how this game's gonna go down if Lozano has another howler and I have to see Sepulveda in the starting lineup again? Even if he puts a guy in like Israel Reyes, Israel Reyes ain't ready for the Germans. In my predictions, I'm trying to account for the fact that Lozano, just like every other Mexican manager since the dawn of time, never really seems to put out our best players and when we don't put out our best players we're going to get touched up and especially when we're playing a German side that's second in World Cup victories about to host the Euro just sacked their coach they're looking to turn over a new leaf they got studs all over the pitch they have so much more talent than we do and maybe even motivation now than we do I just think it's going to spell trouble at the end of the day. Nothing would make me happier than if Mexico somehow pull a 3-1 win out of their bum, okay? Like, I would be ecstatic. You guys can see my live reaction when that happens on Deadball TV. Another reminder to hit subscribe for when that live stream is going up on the channel. But again, I just don't see it happening. So that's how I see October going down. And I'm sorry, guys. It's not very uppity and optimistic, but I'm seeing a draw and a loss here from Mexico. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.